Hi everybody. So I am a paper and pen girl. As long as I can remember, I've been collecting pens and paper. And there is some beautiful paper in the world. Uh, I do not know how to make my own paper, uh, but I know how to buy it. Um, but it's a little bit spendy. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? I, it's um, natural fibers. I'm not, I'll look it up and I'll post it on here um, what, uh, what kind of paper it is exactly. But I love how lacy it is and how light. But if I used this paper in everything I did, like I would love to, I would be spending a lot of money on projects. So I'm also a thrifty girl and I started thinking about what are some ways that I can make things that look cool like this that I can use for my own projects. A while ago, I uh, was watching a lady named Jenny Belly and she's got some really awesome ideas um, for thrifty projects. And one of the ideas was using your old paper towel scraps that you use, you know, to clean off your craft mat or wipe down your paint um, to make canvases. So this is actually a canvas that I made a while ago. Um, it's got a couple of pieces of um, fabric, or not fabric, it's got a couple of uh, pieces of paper towel on here. And I'm going to show you how I made this. This is how I use this. And I actually have this video on my channel. And I used this paper towel for a canvas, for a background for this cute little girl. So I'm going to show you two different projects tonight. That's the first one. I'll show you how to make something like that. The other thing is, I was looking in my dryer and I was like, Dryer sheets, they look a little bit like that paper, right? Kind of lacy like that. And so I thought, can I, is there a way that I can use dryer sheets, which I use all the time, um, to make something that looks a little bit like this? So I'm going to do a little bit of an experiment uh, and see if we can make something like that. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you how I made this. Um, I keep my, all my uh, extra paper towels that I use in a bag like this. And it doesn't matter if they're all crumbled up, that's okay. So I'm going to look through here and find some that have a little bit more paint on them. And then we're going to try using that today to make a canvas. Ooh, some of these have glitter on them. Uh, one thing I have learned is some of these are actually baby wipes. And the baby wipes do not work as well for this with this method. Because I think because they probably have some sort of a lotion in them. Um, you can use, still use this on a project, but I don't think it would work super great to make it into a canvas the way we're going to. So I'm going to pull those out, even though they look really neat. What you do is you look for paper towels that you like, that have, like I said, these do not have a whole lot on them, so they're not a super great. Okay, here's one that has some nice purples on it. Use that one. This one has a little glitter. I don't know if you can see that. This one doesn't. So last night, I started with this one. And we might use that as a bag. So the first thing you're gonna do is we're gonna make a glue solution and it's water. And I wish that I could tell you what the ratio is. I'm using Collage Podge, which is another um, from Eileen's. And you can use matte medium, um, whatever you want. This is a little cheaper than matte medium. And I put in a healthy amount of glue in there. And I'm going to mix it with the water. What I want is a mixture that is probably, 
probably two thirds glue. I probably put too much water in there. It may, may make more sense to add water to the glue. And then you just put your, you're gonna need a, a craft mat or something that doesn't stick. Hope you can hear me over the, my furnace. This is my craft mat here. And I'm just going to, um, you can even dump it on if you want. Maybe I'll do that. Start putting water, or this glue water mixture on top of your paper towel. This stuff um, media that I use is water based, so you know, see this is purple, it's gonna come off a little bit because this is water, mm -hmm, but that's okay. And then I'm going to you can do this a couple different ways. Uh, I think for the one that I showed you, I had two different pieces. I think for this one, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold it in half. And then I'm going to try to make it sort of smooth. Like that. Okay. So now this is completely saturated with the glue mixture. Ideally, you wouldn't want to keep moving this around, but I just want to set it off camera a little bit. But if you can, just leave it where it is. Okay. It's a perfect chance for me to put a little bit more color on one of these. Let's try one more. Like I said, these are not... Here, let's use... I'm going to do two together. So this is one I did yesterday. Um, I have a video on here that's gonna be super short that talks about cleaning your craft mat. Um, this is why, because I did not clean it yesterday and there's all these little pieces of paint on there. That's okay, it doesn't bother me, but if you want it to be, not have a paint on there, then you can check out my little video on, on one way that you could clean your craft mat. So I think, with this, maybe I'll put, yeah, I'm gonna do that. So this one, I already did the same process, but this is just one sh one paper towel. So now I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to do the same process. I'm just looking to see which side I like best. This has a little bit of glitter on one side. And the same process with this. And as you can see, this one is has been crinkled. It's not, oops, not flat. I might have put too much on there. So it's going to take a little bit more to get the glue in. You can go glue all the way to the ends if you want. I tend to like to cut, like, like on this one. I cut around the edges when I was done. So it wasn't really necessary to, to go to the ends of the paper towel. I kinda like the pattern on this too. It's kind of a circle-y pattern on the paper towel where the little moisture wells are, whatever you wanna call them. And then I'm gonna put this one right here. See, and this one has a hole in it, but that's okay. Can I pull this over a little bit? Ah. I'm trying to be speedy. I just need to take my time and do it the right way. Okay. 
people say, some people like it when um, YouTubers uh, do the speed, um, like speed projects where you don't have to sit here and listen to me. And other people like to hear people talk. And I personally am more of like, I don't know, I love watching things go really fast. But since this is my second chance on YouTube, I've decided that I'm gonna do two things. I'm gonna do the same video, but I'm gonna do a fast version and a slow version. So if you're listening to me now, this is the slow version. And you're going to see all my little mistakes. And that's okay. Okay. So that's pretty good. There we go. Alright. And like I said, um, what I would do is I would just get out a, you know, you could use uh, saran wrap or wax paper or something and just fill up your whole table with it and do this. Um, a bunch of them at a time just and then because you're gonna have to come back we're gonna let this dry and then we're gonna come back and uh, do another layer okay so now I'm going to show you my lacy how to do this lacy um, paper towel or not paper towel dryer sheet paper Okay, so I made um, the paper towel, old paper towel rag uh, paper. Now I'm gonna show you how I made this. Now this is a paper, or a dryer sheet. And you can tell, again, I did not clean my craft board mat before I did this. But you can tell how lacy this is. I like that look. This is because this is a dryer sheet that's been used more. Um, we tend to use ours at least twice um, before we throw them away. Some paper towel, uh, I think that probably my guess would be the more that you use your paper towel, um, the lacier uh, before you, oh, I keep saying paper towel, the more you use your dryer sheet uh, before uh, you try to make it into paper, um, the more lacy it'll be. So, uh, let's see. So this one I think has not been used a whole lot. So just like my other project, you're gonna mix water and uh, glue. I use this collage podge and it's water resistant glue sealer and finish. I'm going to put a little bit more in here and then mix it up so it's just water and glue. This is a little bit thicker than I used on the other one. We'll just see if that works better. So all you do is make sure you have a, a surface that is not sticky, like uh, it won't stick to, like a crap mat or wax paper or, uh, I don't know if you can see, but underneath this is a gray thing. This gray thing is uh, actually a shelf liner. It's like a rubber shelf liner. I think I got it at maybe Ikea. And I just put that on top of the dresser that I'm using as a work table right now. We're in a rental house and so I'm just kind of using what we have and nothing is really in a, any specific place. <laughs> uh, so but make sure that it's something that won't stick because you're not, you're not going to have paper if you have to rip it, rip it off something. Okay. So I just saturated this with the uh, water glue mixture and if at all possible try not to move it but I'm moving it out of the way because I want to do another one. This is one that I 
started, I did a layer on last night, and we're going to see, let's see, I'm going to put the glue on the opposite side that I did last night, and what, the reason that I'm doing another layer is I want this to be a little stiffer, so it's still pretty, I almost want it, you not to be able to tell that it was a dryer sheet, I'm not sure if that's going to be possible, but we shall see. Oh, again, I'm just taking the glue water mixture and brushing it all over. Again, this is the opposite side. Uh, so this is basically the second coat. And it's the flip side of the first coat. Okay. So I'm going to do that to my other pieces, and then we're going to let them dry. And... After they dry, I'll tell you how long that took to dry. And then we'll come back and I'll uh, show you, uh, we'll see what we get. Hopefully it will be something exciting. So hang in there and I'll be back. Okay, so let's see how we're doing. So as you can tell, it's still pretty, I don't know, floppy, I guess. I want it to be more like the original paper that I showed you. I do like this one, but again, this is the one where it had been used more. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another coat on here, and this time I'm going to put more glue. This turned out pretty good. So here's our finished piece. And oh, my autofocus doesn't work so great. But it's got some. Oh, I forgot we did two pieces. Let me find the other one. That's a little silver piece in there. That's kind of neat. So this is um, thick enough to use for a canvas of some sort. Okay, so here's the other one. When I add another layer of glue to these, I'm going to add another layer to this too. All right, so we have one, two, hold. Let's see how this looks. Okay, again, this is the one that had all the gunk on it. So I'm realizing why I haven't seen any other videos about how to do this, because <laughs> it doesn't look super great. Uh, I guess, I mean, it's kind of, the, the one side is really, is kind of shiny. Um, but maybe I'll make a project with them and then we'll see if it's worth it. But I did want to show you how these turned out. And these are really cool. Got a little bit of silver and then the back. So you could decide which side you wanted to use. And then this one is that. That's just the pattern from the paper towel. And then this side is smooth. This is from when my paintbrush broke. So I probably will cut off the edges on here because I just like the way that looks. But I hope you try the technique of with the paper towels. Use your 
extra paper towels. Looks like the the higher the glue to water ratio, the better. And looks like a couple of coats is better than none. So I hope you enjoyed that. I will be back with more videos. If you like to give a like, a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> nice job. I got a thumbs up from my kid. Do it again. Three thumbs up. Right here. There it is. There's the thumbs up. Bye-bye.